Hello everyone, welcome to the first, or I mean second episode of the Idle Heroes Let's Play series. Today we have unlocked, um, well, I'm going to show you today, but I don't um, just post everything in one go, so I don't just um, make some footage on Thursday and then just um, do it all in uh, the same day. No, I just show you guys what I did during the week, what happened, and the, the important stuff, and then uh, why you can keep watching it you know you don't only see it from one day but you see it from the entire week so we unlocked um sea land and we kind of attacked everywhere um, in each faction um we got a bit further um and it's mostly good because now we have like a daily income of four star heroes which is nice and we also get um well eventually we can get um, something for the treasure train and perhaps if that's better um the elite um, shards so it's also nice because now we can get more um, challenges done in the soul temple temple so that's good i want to i also want to say something because some people ask for a, a, a main account tour so if you guys want to see a main account tour uh, please get this video to the 25 likes and then i will show the my main account and um, i will give you a, a you know a small tour of what i've done and uh, what it looks like so um, that's that i also upgrade my eloise to um seven star which makes her way stronger and later i'm gonna upgrade her further um, same with the Garuda. I think I'm gonna go for, um, you know, um, perhaps E10, I mean, uh, 10 star Garuda. And then once I've done that, I've used her as food um, to uh, make my Eloise E5. I'm going with a pretty standard uh, route. And as for some, this might be boring. However, since I've, I haven't played in such a long time, I don't know anything about the new hero. So I don't know what other hero I should use. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the reason why I'm going with the Eloise strategy. And because I've just done it so many times and I, well, it's never really disappointed me. So that's why I'm going for it. Um, I also played in the, I forgot what his name is for this um, arena type, but I also always quite liked it. Because you attack and if you win, then you can choose um, one hero or actually two if you want um, out of their you know, um, lineup and you can add it to your own line. So that's, in my opinion, really good. And uh, well, as you can see right now, you just need to be a little bit lucky because let's say you can um, gradually work your way up and get stronger heroes, then you can actually get quite far. Quite far, because let's say you um, uh, kill a ten star with a nine star, and then you kill, get another ten star, and then you get E1, E2, um, and you you could technically build your way up. However, it's not really easy because um, well, they most of the time if you go up against like. A lineup with an E10 or I mean an E2 or a 10 star they have multiple of them so it's really difficult to beat so you just gotta be really lucky and maybe get like a singular um, 10 star or something like that because we're never gonna beat uh, something like that um, so now we're gonna pick the Garuda and I think the Gloria because the other heroes are really good and um, for now we can just attack all these guys and um, hope we get far here we are up against a single um, Eloise, so this is what I meant, like if we can kill Eloise right now we can actually get quite far because this Eloise is a 10 star and that may enable us to get like um, E1 heroes as well. But um, yeah, it didn't work out so great but I might show more of it later. Anyway, there's also the Imps Adventure going on and um, we're gonna buy 25 dice with gems and if we do that then we have um, well, 5 dice left um, to buy and we're also gonna get 5 more, I mean 4 more and dice tomorrow um, so I'm just gonna do it today um, I'm only gonna smash once I have the lucky dice because I feel like then the smashing works the best so let's hope we get the lucky dice quite fast that's that's quite decent getting the mushroom card um, and as long as we get like 200 stars I'm happy so if we get 200 stars on this and in a jungle of fantasy we get 2500 of the currency then we can at least just buy two five-star chests, and that's what I'm. Uh, that's my goal for this week. So now we actually got quite lucky here. We can smash, and um, all our huts are level three, um, except the one in the bottom left. So we need to upgrade that one uh, one more time. And we have 13 dice left because we got some dice back every time. Uh, so I think we're gonna get 200 maybe with the 13 dice, but. That's only if we get like really lucky. So I'm gonna throw four. Oh no, wait. Yeah, so we got really lucky and got the mushroom upgraded to the final level. And we actually hit the lucky dice hut. So that's good. 
um, yeah again please get to level get um, it to the 25 likes then I show the video um, and so far we're actually getting really lucky here and uh, we're getting double stars again we can throw four um, automatically get another lucky dice and we throw four again um, six is also really oh that sucks and yeah let's hope we throw oh shit well that wasn't good but so be it uh, which one? one okay that was a bit worse but we're 172 we can buy I think five more gems yeah so if we use them now we're at 177 I think and this will bring us to 100 okay and we're, okay now I think we're almost there yeah 187 so we need 30 more and we get uh, four more dice tomorrow and we still have one lucky die so that should be an easy task I'm not sure if we're gonna get enough of the jungle currency because we still need like a lot but you always get a lot um, in the last day so I, I, I think we're gonna make it like barely 25 one so it's gonna be close we can also start a new um, uh, you know, journey I think on the celestial island we're gonna go for the um, shadow uh, six star and what I always do is just put my best heroes in the auxiliary system because then practically every battle you do, um, you win because nobody really has their best heroes there. So that always works. And um, I would recommend it. Well, not if everybody starts doing it, it's not going to work anymore. But I just recommend it because even if you go up against stronger enemies, 9 out of the 10 times you win. So that's good. Because as you can see, he only put one hero there and probably had his best lineup in um, the first place. So that also means that if every time people attack you in your, um, you know, your, your first lineup, and you're also gonna lose, so it's kinda a win, yeah. A double edge short, so sometimes it's gonna be good, sometimes a little bit worse. Um, we just do this, and we get some nice rewards once it uh, the journey ends in 12 days. And then we also kinda do this because we get more points in the Soul Temple, because once you get 3600 points, you will be able to um, do one awakening and just hoping to get like lucky but well I've also gotten an, an, enough luck already in the soul temple but maybe we can get some luck um, in this account as well so like, like a B copy of Eloise or something good um, to start off with but uh, we'll see I'm also upgrading um, that stuff so I'm just gonna upgrade the, the things that give you the, the rocks and I'm gonna upgrade the things that give you the well the, the main building in the island and if I, once I upgrade that um, and I think we're gonna be fine. And with our enemies, we can actually get quite far in the brave trial. Um, however, we should um, like get enough sigils because once we have enough sigils, we can might we can use the sigils to get further in the night time. And in night time, it's also just and during the night time, it's also just um, kind of uh, a luck factor because if you go up against enemies that have E fives, then you're never gonna win. So. The daytime we can also already smash each day, but I'm just going to get more sigils and hope that we can one time um, finish the night. Uh, yeah, night time. So that would be really nice, giving us more rewards every day. And maybe we can get it today actually. So this one we can skip. And this one as well. Should be easy enough. And this one, okay. Now here we lose. So that's kind of what I'm up against every time. And it's just a matter of luck, because if you get don't get uh, a team like that, then you probably win. Well, I can't buy the Rogan, that's sad. And, um, yeah. So then, um, it was a day after, so we got four more dice to use in the Imps Adventure to get to the 200 stars. And the first one wasn't really good, so I had to throw even. And that happened, so that's nice. Otherwise, I might not have you know, made the 200 stars. But now I think it's um, fair to say that's gonna work. Now we throw two. Um, right here we throw five. And now all we need are six more stars. So we actually got, yeah, if we throw six with the lucky dice, we make it. But otherwise, it would have been, yeah, we wouldn't have made it. So we got quite lucky in the end. And uh, we make at least, I mean, roughly 202 stars. So, well, that's uh, what I wanted. Also, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode and um, I'll get this to 25 likes and i show the account to Goodbye.